if you notice in industry, there's a lot of females who are still wearing male PPE. So this is an absolute violation in my personal view uh, because women and men are not built the same. Um, their body types are not the same. Um, just the curvature and um, the anatomy of a female's body is so different. So for them to be wearing a male PPE garment, which is specced for men, is telling me that their bodies are not properly protected. So indirectly it's telling me that a female form or the female person is not as valued as a male counterpart. So th these discussions, um, especially at um, women events like we're having, is critical to have those, that dialogue in place and to speak to different stakeholders to get that conversation um, down to the roots, whether it's the safety or procurement divisions, get the importance of a uh, woman being specced appropriately and their bodies equally protected as men. When I think of safety for women, there's the holistic approach to safety and dignity is one of them, not just the physical uh, protection from the harsh environment that they're in, but also the dignity. Um, if a woman is wearing a, uh, a jacket that's too short or a pants that's not fitting correctly and she bends over, she's exposing herself, at the end of the day she goes home, she's a respected person in community, she's a mother, she's a sister, she's a daughter. I don't think anybody would want anyone in their, in their families, any female in their families to be disrespected or exposed or, or be left undignified. So uh, dignity is an important part of safety and even behavioural safety. So proper PPE, proper uh, garments, proper footwear, uh, give that to a female to make her feel comfortable in herself and well protected. Just if you look at our feet alone, uh, a man's, which is obviously a lot, lot bigger, generally speaking, um, a lot stronger, a lot broader. Females' feet are different, so that's why our footwear is designed against the loss of a female foot. Um, so it protects the right areas, cushioning the right areas, um, and a proper foot health impacts the body. Um, so if she is not protected, it impacts the total body long term. So that's what we worry about. So we worry about the total longevity of the female worker. We have several developments uh, in the Goa. I can't share too much at the moment, but definitely we're looking at spaces in the electrical high current field, um, in the flash arc field, um, expanding our footwear range. There's a lot of innovation, so you'll definitely see more of that in the media in the 24 and 25 uh, catalogues.